Welcome back to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie, and today we are going to work on our sack junk journal. One of these days, we might have it done. We might have it done by Christmas. We can give it for a Christmas gift. Y'all can work on it without me. I mean, I'm just doing it slowly, and I know that. But anyways, we are to this sack pocket. Wonder what we're going to do. Today. Anybody just got an idea? I'm thinking about making a little book that could be a journal and slip it in. So, you'll need paper for the guts, uh, front and back, thread, needle, or a staple, whatever you've got. And we are needing this. And I'll need my paper trim, so just bear with me while I grab it. Knock everything down on my desk. We need this by 4 by 8. This sheet. And then we're going to fold it in half. And what I'm going to do is just use my scoreboard that I'm using since I've already trimmed it. And I'm going to score it at four. And it never works out. Okay. I'm put. this is my cover. Okay, I'm going to put a little doily. I'm going to cut this to four. Let me see if this one's four too. What about this? You've got that one. I'm going to cut this piece of notebook paper to four. And then this is out of a book, some a front page of a book. And this is mulberry paper. And this at four by eight. And this is really touchy to cut. Always has been. Now I'm cutting this. But if you just got a piece of scrap, use it. I mean, you don't have to do what I do. Y'all know this. I'm just giving y'all ideas to build off of. Okay, I'm done with this. Just back up. Get this out. Fold it. Now I'm thinking I'm going to do... This first. Now you could write on this. You can make a pocket. I'm going to just fold this sheet. And I think I'm going to fold this dory in half. And I'm thinking this may be a four inch. Story. Probably is because it's. Then I'm gonna lay that. Then I'm gonna lay this. So, and then piece of notebook paper. Now you can uh, wipe this out with gesso, or you could put, you know, plain paper over it. It's whatever. Or you can just leave it. I mean. Okay, now I'm going to use, if you can't hit, find a bone folder, I think these ones just as good, if not better than a bone folder. Fold that in half. I'm going to take my little pokey tool. 
Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of guessing. I'm going to poke a hole here. And a hole here. Now I'm going in with the thread. And I think I'm going to just use this embroidery thread that I've got already on my needle. Oh, I'm lazy today. And I'm going to go through this hole. And then my other hole. That don't sound good if you got your mind in the middle. I'm just going to tie this, like this, and then like this, like that, and then I'm just going to, now, for the front cousin, let's see what we're going to do. Okay, this is a free printable I got somewhere, so I, I'm not positive, but I think I'm going to use this little telephone tag, or ta whatever this thing is called. And I'm just going to fussy cut it. And you can put paper phone number up. Okay, sorry about that. That was my stepdaughter coming in. Yo, this is real life. Okay, and I'm going to ink that with uh, whatever I can find, I guess. I think I'm going to use always auto choke. I ain't used it in a while. And I'm just going to use the pad. Now I got ink all over me. And that thing is juicy this morning. Paper towel. That thing was juicy. I am using alt metal glue for this. And there we have it. We have made a little book in no time flat. Like I said, you can decorate it. You can write in it. Whatever pleases you. And I just realized I put the ones upside down. <laughs> it's one of those Mondays. Alright, uh, y'all have a blessed day. Y'all come back and see us. Bye.